What's up guys, this is uh, Avery from Avery Car Film, reviewing my 2013 Dodge Charger RT, showcasing the rims, 20 inch rims of Cone Factory from Dodge, colors like a red line of pearl red, got the Hemi logo, show that it's a Hemi. Uh, the chrome grill also the new dodge logo we'll be changing that out soon as it, and the grill as well got uh, high profile uh, HID lights that came with the car it's a uh, factory fully loaded high quality fog lights And you got around here got a button that you can just unlock the car with or lock it with just have to have a key on you if you come back here have the back I like the, the lighting I will show that to you in a minute guys also got the RT on it yeah Let's go inside the car. Unlocked. Then you get inside the car. And you have your, I think that's either a 9 or 10 inch TV screen. For your, all your plays, navigation. I'll show that in just a minute. Check out the red leather stitched in came with the car fully loaded you had the beats by drace stereo system you had the memory seats for three different options or two different options i think um have all your components as far as your auto lights uh bright lights trunk button right there um can't really see it's uh carbon fiber for the dash den carbon fiber for the gearbox also cup holders cup holders they have a hot um for to hold your coffees hot hot items whatever and cold to hold your cold items um, whatever the case might be for that um, also get a look at the still the red interior came with the car all through the back all through the back I always wanted red interior and I only got it in the car alright so it does not have a key it is touch start uh, push button start excuse me so we close the door and we will get into that shortly so you have to have the key on on you on you on your person on you and you have to press the brake as well it would say that in the um in your little screen that you have with the miles per hour and stuff you had to press the brake as i'm pressing the brake and you have to press the start button. Starts the car up. Beats by Dre comes on. You connect all your options. And then it says, uh, I got it set on navigation because I just like it always set on navigation. I thought that was, you know, coming with na Navi was uh, pretty cool. I've always wanted that in a car uh so a lot of different things you can um pick where to your addresses your you got to spell out the uh, city uh the zip code search all uh whatever country you're in you know of course we're in the united states um you go back to navigation you can view the maps 
Uh, it's kind of like, you know, just simple navigation. You got your basic main highways, your off, off, uh, off, not off roads, but you know, your roads off the interstate. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you can see, it tells you how fast that you go on the, um, uh, right there, right here. It tells you how fast that you go. If I'm in a area, say it's 20 miles or 40 miles uh, speed limit, it tells you each area that you're in the speed limit. And if you go over that, it starts to beep in red. Uh, you also have your little button right here where you can hit and you can look at traffic conditions. Um, I, I just discovered this actually like last week. So that's pretty cool. It shows you there's a delay on I-35 North, on uh, 635 exit 440. Um, you know, that that's pretty cool. Um, this shows you different colors. Uh, the green is uh, flowing free. Yellow is, you know, there's a delay. Uh, red is traffic is not moving. And uh, of course the construction uh, colors are for the, you know, construction zone itself. Uh, let's go out of this, back into that. Um, also, um, you have other options down here on your toolbar. You have radio, uh, at CM, AM. Um, you have your player, which you can do um, I got it set when I open, when I get into the car, it already magically sends with my Bluetooth. So I got it hooked up to my iPhone, but, um, you can go to choice. You can go to USB. I'm not particularly sure, uh, what that is. I think that's like, you know, if you have like songs on like a hard drive or a little hookup or something, uh, SD card is kind of like for your pictures or out of a camera. Ox cord is, of course, for your ox cord if you want to connect it to your, you know, to your uh, phone. Uh, you got your uh, disc right here for your um, disc, uh, CDs, if anyone still listens to CDs these days. Uh, let's see, that's out of here. Uh, you got your controls. Uh, if it's too bright when you're driving down the road at dark time or are kind of tired and just don't want to see a lot of light uh, you can press screen off and the screen will still be responsive but the touch screen will be um, the the light will be off basically so that you know that blocks out all that you know lighting or whatever if you're tired and you're driving long, long nights wherever um, let's go back um, it has drivers heated seats and vent, uh, vented seats basically that is of course hot and cold uh, you can have it to high or low uh, it's got heated uh, steering wheel as well um, passenger side it's got the same thing heated or cooling let's go back uh, heated or cooling um, so those are the basic control options you have for touchscreen for this car uh, climate is basically just the same thing as in any car except, you know, you have your climate on the touch screen and you have it down by your, um, down by your controls by the volumes, you know, if you want to do it hands, hands on, uh, that's available as well. But I like to do everything with touch screen because, you know, um, I just always been a fan of just touch screen anything. Um, so that's cool. You got your sink. You can sync it up with the you can have your driver and passenger the same uh, same condition you know air condition temperatures or if you want you know say the passenger to have you know uh, something different you know 72 over here and and 68 69 70 over on your others on your driver's side you can um, let's see also you have your uh, phone you can, um, it's always phone ready. Uh, you can have your um, phone books. 
um, all that stuff, phone books, go through that. Um, then you can, um, like, you can accept or end calls through the touch screen or through um, your your telephone options here cell phone options here this is uh, to answer the call you press again in the call uh, so that, that's pretty cool I, I thought that was pretty nice uh, I, I really like it I use it a lot when you know people are calling me I don't really try to be on my phone too much I try to just use what you know the the cars uh, um, you know f phone phone ready thing um, also then you got more uh, series travel links I don't really use that much you got your settings for your uh, clock display safety driving uh, assistance um, you know you can you know take off the park assistance you can tilt the side mirrors in reverse uh, side blind spots turn off um, you know just all kinds of different stuff backup camera range sensing autos uh, just, just a lot of safety different features uh, it's really good for the car you know um, you know knowing that you know someone's close to you if you're turning on a signal this that you know there, there's crazy people here uh, in Texas um, that they, they can't hardly drive for nothing um, got your lights Headlights with uh, wipers, auto dims, flash uh, lamps with locks, uh, door locks. You can change the different settings on that. Um, just different things, man. You know, with the with you know the settings and phone uh, series setup, uh, audio. It's just a whole bunch of different different options for that. Uh, so I'll go back to navigation and keep that on. Also, uh, just have your plane um, gear shift. I will be changing this gear shift out soon. Uh, gear knob, gear shift, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have something ordered, so that stay tuned for that video. Um, and that's your basic thing for your gearbox. Uh, also, sunroof has a sunroof. I mean that sunroof uh, you can vent it where it tilts up or you can attract it back of course and um, I think that's for like buds or something I'm not really particularly sure um, but anyway sunroof there opened up pretty nice on you know sunny days or whatever cruising it's back um lights are still the same you know kind of just the basic lights uh we'll be changing all these lights out uh in the near future so stay tuned for that video uh, it is pretty bright in here but i want you know some leds um some more you know give it more life custom look i guess you would call it um got the basic you know uh rear view mirror you know, basic rear view mirror that everyone everyone has. Not really difference in there. Um, just a nice car, man. You know, just it's just uh, really nice on the inside with the red interior and uh, feels really good. You know, just sitting sitting on you know sitting on these seats, they uh, snug up pretty good to you to your body. Um, so that's always pretty good so yeah that's um, basically it for the interior um, like I said it's got Beats by Dre um, stereo system all around I think I'm not particularly sure how many I want to say well, maybe six different speakers and then I have one in the back uh, I think it's a 10 inch that I will sh uh, show you in just a minute um, also different options for the for the front of the screen uh, for the little screen uh, on your miles per hour gauges and your um, 
you know, cooling and, and heating and um, your uh, gas gauges, uh, just different options it shows you. Uh, let, let's go. Uh, d different like cruise uh, cruise control off on of course um, let's see has it where it's uh, vehicle speed you can choose different tire pressures uh, trip information vehicle information um, coolant temps your oil temps um, trans temps, engine hours, um, messages, if there's any messages to say like if you don't have your seatbelt on it sends a message, if you're low on gas, of course it's going send messages, um, fuel economy, uh, the, f the f fuel average in here is not that really <laughs> good, um, last week I was getting 12 to 13 in town um uh, kind of this week it looks like more about about 15 uh miles per gallon in town i don't really travel much on the interstate because um where my job is versus my apartment it's it's you know basically on just you know side roads all the way to it but um when i'm on the interstate i'm um uh, if i am on the interstate going somewhere going to a restaurant or something uh i'm mostly getting like 20 to like 22 I've, I've seen 22 uh, that's the most I've seen mostly like 20 um, so it's pretty good as far as you know uh, big engine you know nice looks uh, mu you know muscle stuff like that but as far as if you want it for you know uh, gas mileage you know savor that this is not the vehicle to get uh, for um, gas mileage saving um you know i wish it was but sometimes you gotta you know either you know go with the gas saving cars and you don't get you know it, it don't really look that great there are car some nice cars out there that has great gas mileage not knocking them down or you have you know big you know engines and and, and muscle vehicles and they don't get great gas mileage so it's kind of pros and cons to really everything um so that is basically the inside of the interior um i always keep it on uh, vehicle speed because i just want to know my speed i don't want to go too fast in different areas for you know these police officers to pull you over and give you a, a good a good ticket so i try to keep that in perspective um so yeah, guys, uh, if you like this video, uh, if you like, you know, me showcasing, you know, my review on my 2013 uh, Dodge Ch Charger RT Hemi, uh, please like and subscribe my video. Uh, and I will be making more, more uh, during the in the future, um, trying to just you know launch off my my channel. Uh, get it off the ground and going and getting a lot of views and a lot of uh, subscribers so uh so stay tuned for more videos and uh this is avery with avery car films and i'm signing out bye